This is a quick video to go over our next unit with room 19, which is going to be graphic novels. We're going to be making our trip to science camp into graphic novels, and we're going to be using a template in Google Slides that was created by Ryan O'Donnell, who has tons of awesome slides, and we're lucky enough to be able to use them. Um, the pre-made template you guys will be able to change and alter as you see fit. You will not be leaving the creepy images I have of myself and of some of the students on the page. What you're going to do is you're going to change them. For the title page, it's just the background. So to change it, go up to background, choose your image, and again, you're going to choose something that's appropriate for you. Um, if I go back and change it to what Mr. O'Donnell originally had, hit done, and that's what his original one looked like. I'm going to get rid of that though. Put my creepy one back. Um, You'd have to change the title. There's a title box here. You'd put something else here. Change it to your name as the author. If you want to get rid of the DC logo, there are files down here further on images. Um, I'll scroll down. Where you can grab other things, DC Comics, Marvel, and you can feel free to make up your own to add to that. Um, so I'm going to go back up to the top again. You'll get rid of this template, the copy thing. I'd like you guys to copy it and paste it and paste it down below in the notes sections because I'd still like Mr. O'Donnell to still get credit for what he created that we're using. Um, as you move through your graphic novel, you're going to fill in other things. The layout doesn't need to remain the same. You can change the shapes as you see fit. Um, you can change and replace uh, images, text box, any way you want and see fit to lay out your graphic novel. A couple of quick things to change that. First thing, when I click on the image, if I want to change it, I go up to the cropping tool, it says mask image, and I can change the shape to anything that I see fit, and I can tweak it accordingly. Okay. If I don't like the lines on the outside, I can ch I can try make them transparent, I can change the color of them, I can change the thickness of those, anything that I'd like to do. And again, that's your that's going to be your artistic interpretation of what you'd like to have happen. I'm going to go down another page. Um, what we also have in here are text boxes that speech bubbles that come out. And you can use these as you see fit when you're telling your story. One thing you want to do though, when you look down at mine, and I'm going to use zoom because sometimes it helps to use the zoom button to go in a little bit closer. Um, we'll see, too far. We'll go in a little closer. One more, and I'll turn that off. Now, as you can see, I put a text box within here. I changed the text for the last part right here. I just highlighted this and changed my text. It doesn't have to stay the same when you're writing your speech bubbles. If you look at comic books, a lot of times the font changes based on voice, tone, a lot of different things. So you're going to be using that as well as a tool. So please take note use research. We have tons of graphic novels that you can look at in the classroom to use as models. Um, and we'll go over a couple other things as well. And I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this project.